Man, oh man. You see, I love capitalism. I do. And one thing about capitalism I absolutely love is the concept of competition. All right? Competition usually in a perfect running system, capitalist system, lowers prices and drives innovation. Lowers prices and drives innovation. It's great. It's amazing. I mean, unless you're Apple computers, because all they do is make the same iPhone over and over and over again. But the the operating system, um, because, you know, Android was hand, handing them their lunch. Google was handing them their lunch with Android. Um, they started making the operating system better on the uh, iPhone. So now it actually basically is like a, a, a cheap Google <laughs> a cheap android phone so i mean you know but it but it it forced it forced them to innovate same thing with uh gi joe classified versus valiverse valiverse is forcing classified to grow expand and evolve they they they, they have to because if they don't and he just did the same stuff over and over again eventually bobby val is going to get him eventually and that brings to mind one of my favorite companies to buy items from. One of my favorite companies, Diamond Select. I love Diamond Select. I, I, I can't even lie. I have so many of their figures sitting on an entire shelf just dedicated just to their Marvel large figures. Just to them alone. Then I have another shelf for the regular 7-inch figures, right? I really enjoy Marvel Marvel Select because here's the thing Marvel Select hits you with accessories paint they 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 give you all this stuff in the package problem with Marvel Select and Diamond Select figures from all from different genres all their action figures problem is one most prominent scale they're a seventh inch scale they fit in better with McFarland than they do with your Marvel figures. Now, the larger figures, you can make in you can make an argument that those figures fit in with your regular Marvel Legends because I'm sorry, like an eight inch Hulk, you know, a, a eight inch Hulk, eight and a half inch Hulk versus a ten inch Hulk with a lot of paint and a lot of sculpting and stuff like that, shadowing and all that stuff. Um you know and dry brushing and everything that pops baby that pops and it doesn't look like just plain old bare plastic with shiny and everything that pops on a shelf next to your marvel legends same thing for like i have a, a beta ray bill up there i have a I have a gladiator hulk i have uh let me see what else do i have up there i have their thor their juggernaut those are just my big this is some of my big figures I have a whole bunch of them and they look great in your display next to your legends or on a shelf with your legends so I mean I, I think those cross over the regular size figures their Iron Man everything like that the scaling is a little bit off the other problem is the posing let's be clear they're all single jointed everything the joints have these some of the joints have these weird hinges on them that are just ridiculous some of the hin the hinges they they some of them just don't work after a while or like the they they just it, it just doesn't it's not cool it's not fun like i have their gambit i have the diamond select uh marvel select gambit and i mean it looks great but I don't know when those legs are going to give out on them because like those legs, those legs are looking kind of wonky. I mean, then again, I mean, I, they're not gummy. They just look kind of wonky. So, yeah, but I think the further problem, the the posing, at least in the joints, is looking like Diamond Select's uh, about to solve that equation, folks. Because it started out with their Captain America, right? Started out with that Captain America. Their Captain America, the classic Captain America they're dropping, right? Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, insane amount of accessories. Two different shields, uh, multiple head sculpts. Like I think, I think he has three or four different head sculpts. 
he has accessories for the shield he has like all the hands everything and the best part thirty dollars so for five dollars more you're getting what they were charging what forty dollars for their classic captain america so yeah okay and then i saw their archangel and their annihilus and i was like wait wait, wait. are those are those also double jointed elbows and double jointed knees to accompany that insane amount of sculpting detail in the figure and paint am i am i seeing this right granted again the scale the scale comes in if you're a scale person i am not so i don't really particularly care about scale i mean shoot on my current shelves i have i have legend scale transformers that are just as tall as my mainline transformers on the same shelf so optimus prime is the same size as jazz on my shelf so that tells you all you need to know about me caring about scale i don't particularly care about scale but if you don't care about scale i feel like they've solved that posing problem a lot because double jointed knees and elbows fix a lot of problems <laughs> they can mask a lot of problems with that yeah now granted they don't have the drop down hips granted they don't have the the all the other things but then again neither do marvel legends like <laughs> we have like what four figures and all of them are spider-man that have drop down hips <laughs> like i mean come on hasbro y'all gotta step this up bro because diamond select continues to innovate they're gonna take all your shit <laughs> They, they go they gonna get everything man they, they they if they make a legit she hulk to compete with the marvel legend she hulk whoo, 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 they gonna be some problems up here because their she hulk is going is she going she probably gonna scale properly with uh uh with with with, with the marvel legends because she hulk's supposed to be a big girl you know what i'm saying so i mean they come with that kind of stuff man they, they listen i'm I'm more than willing to fork over the dollars, baby. I'm more than willing to fork over the dollars. Whatever magic juju Hasbro had with Disney and Marvel, it, it got worn out or or uh, Diamond Select bid, outbid them on something. Because, uh, yeah, they're, they're looking like they're trying to innovate. And I'm here for it. I'm here for the competition. I think this is one of the best things that can happen because... At the $30 price point, you're getting a ton of paint, ton of accessories, a whole lot of plastic, a whole lot of plastic on a figure. I mean, and you're getting the double jointed knees and elbows. I Listen, for $5 more, I'll go that way because they're giving me what I want. So I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know. Are you thinking that these, uh, diamond select figures are 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 right there they're 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 over the target do you think diamond selects over the target are you thinking that i don't care I, the scale kills me or what let me know what you think in the comments and as always make sure you like share comment and subscribe make sure you check out the community tab that's where i post any pre-orders on figs any deals on figs or any restocks that i come across while I'm browsing the world wide web i'll leave a link to that in the description also in the description i'll leave my amazon affiliate link it's pretty awesome pretty cool all you have to do is click on the link go on amazon and buy away and amazon will pay me a small commission for everything you purchase doesn't cost you anything extra and it's a great way to support the channel so yeah be safe be good and it's the drunken prime cracking open another beer and signing off